Venturi Raiders have stepped up their campaign against Federation sectors on the Galactic Rim. We're going to try to stop them. Oh. The Venturi have been using the Abyss Nebula as an escape route after their raids, using special transponders to navigate within the cloud. Your assignment is to enter the nebula, go to the Alpha CN625, Beta CN625, and Gamma CN625 systems. Find each transponder and disable them. When all transponders have been disabled, return to Starbase 23. Be warned, cadets, that the heavy ionization in the Abyss Nebula reduces the shield and sensor integrity to one-third of their normal effectiveness. Good luck. Captain's log. Stardate 31. I remember 31, this mission. This mission's rough. We are about to set course for three systems in the Abyss Nebula. Systems that are being used to cover Venturi raiding operations. Our assignment is to disable the transponders that the rogue Venturi are using to navigate in the nebula. I always liked this song, though. Red alert! Entering Alpha C and 625 system. You bring the sensors, extra power to sensors, if you could, please. And if you're also able to, please allocate extra power to the shields. Okay, no shields. An alien ship is within weapons range. Matter balance is stable again, Captain. You can go to work at any time. I don't have transparency with it, though. We've completed repairs on the tractor beam, sir. Incoming message from the Venturi Woo! Captain. To prevent loss of life to my crew, I offer my unconditional surrender. Power, I want power down your weapons and prepare to be beamed over in groups of three. You will be held in our brig until we reach Starbase 23. I Re request deny. I want the location of your home base, Captain. Power down your weapons and prepare to be beamed over in groups of three. You will be held in our brig until we reach Starbase 23. Your terms are acceptable. Our weapons are offline, and our crew is available for transport. Beginning transport sequence. There isn't a large crew. It shouldn't take long. All Venturi crew members are now aboard, Captain. It would appear from the size of their crew that the Venturi ships utilize a great deal of automation, Captain. Lost their primary, secondary. During the course of your mission, your ship was lost. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Is automatic. I knew that was going to happen, and I was, like, trying Captain's to be ready log. to avoid it the best I could. Oh, why is it all blue already? Game. We're not in the nebula yet. Entering Alpha C and 625 system. There is nothing unusual to report, Captain. The sensors, if you could, please give me extra power. Get those impulse engines rolling. An alien ship is within weapons range and close. from the Hit Venturi em. captain to prevent all right power down power your weapons down your we beginning transport seek it would appear Ugh. okay we've completed 
repairs on the tractor beam, sir. Got extra power to the sensors. There's really nothing you can do with the shields. We just have no shields. Alright, well. Chance for extra power to the weapon systems then. I want them to hit extra hard if we're not going to be able to get any power to the shields. Entering Beta CN625 system. Well, apparently, even closer to a couple of others. A Venturi ship is not the one. Life support has been hit. God. I'm not gonna let them keep firing on my ship. This is one of those, uh, you know, heavy combat games. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> not without some pretty heavy damage control here. Well, we don't need the shields. They, they, that is not a thing. Phasers are operational again, Captain. Well, thanks, dude. I'm glad to know that they're operational again when I didn't even know that they were broken. Yeah, maybe get the life support online. I don't know. It was just a thought. Is life support even online? No. Maybe... <laughs> maybe bring it online. Okay, emergency Phases are online again. Ready Emer to fire on your orders. Emergency power isn't helping him with the life support system. <laughs> I just say. Life support system online. There you go. Okay, life support's online. That's real important. Real freaking important. Okay. Alright. 
Captain, there are strong radio sources in the nebula. I cannot pinpoint their location because of the sensor interference, but I would speculate there is a major Venturi presence here. Oh, entering Gamma CN625 system. I am Conovan of the 5th Venturi Honor Guard. We demand your immediate surrender. Not a chance, not a chance. Cut the rhetoric, Conovan, and surrender now. Can't we resolve this peacefully? The Venturi always had a reputation of being a peaceful race. Alshaf has shown us a new way. Our race has wasted ten millennia watching others achieve glory. When the other races of the Federation talk about us, what do they say? That we are pitiful and old, barely alive on a dying planet, soon to be forgotten. Alshaf has shown us that we can be strong. And now, we will show you our strength. There will be no peace. A Venturi medium cruiser is approaching. It is within weapons range. Yeah, I'm, I'm gathering that. We are within weapons range of a Venturi. I don't have weapons. I only have phasers. Please get me the photon torpedoes. As soon as you can. gotta count for something getting my targeting onto that with the keyboard appears to not really be much of a thing Torpedoes would be great. What about the torpedoes? You want to get the torpedoes back? Phasers either. Or impulse engines anymore. We're dead. Phasers ready, Captain. Readying photon tubes. Readying photon tubes. Those are the app tubes, unfortunately. We have two minutes of life support left.
damage control, life support. Start repairing that, because if you don't, we'll just lose by default. One minute of life. So we've completed repairs on the phasers, Captain. Fucking get the life support systems back online. Life support system online. Thank you. Okay. Why are the photon torpedoes not working then? Take them offline and bring them back online. Okay, I have forward tor torpedoes. That did it. That was the hit I needed. Back us off. Online again, ready to fire on your orders. Ready the forward torpedoes. And fire. Holy crap. <laughs> we made it. Do we still have working nacelles? We do. We've completed repairs on the phasers, Captain. That's a little surprising. <sighs> life support Holy system crap. online. Get the sensors back online, get the warp drive back online, and keep working on the life support. Let's uh drop drop support for the rest of the systems right now. Just get Get the warp drive back. That should work for now. Holy moly. I'm not going to be able to hit those from there. You're supposed this is supposed to be semi-transparent, this targeter on the on the screen. But it's not, so like I can't see through it. Which makes manual aiming really hard. What the fuck? That base is firing at me. Base looks pretty beat up. They may want to surrender now. Okay. We offer our unconditional surrender. Surrender accepted. All Venturi ships will stop firing. I agree to your terms. Ah. I'm beaming a landing party to their command center. No resistance reported. The station is ours, Captain. I see. We got our engines back online, Captain. You can take her into warp anytime. I didn't now. have to take out all the ships, but I did. Because I'm badass. <laughs> we still have to destroy all the transponders. It's our main mission objective, after all. So it doesn't even matter that we have their complete and utter surrender. And that they aren't going to be using them anymore. I just want to target this damn thing. Okay, here we go. Keyboard controls, man. Transponder has been destroyed. Captain. This is what I meant about not using the keyboard for this game and it being really hard with it. Because if I wasn't on a keyboard, I could make much. Course laid in, Captain. 
All of the transponders have been disabled. Mission accomplished. Green alert, get me out of this nebula. Holy moly. We did it. First, well, second try. First try we rammed into a ship, but hey, you know what? We did it. Hailing frequency open. Mission accomplished, Starfleet. Congratulations. You have dealt with overwhelming odds in a manner consistent with the best traditions of the Starfleet. Yeah, overwhelming odds indeed. Holy freaking moly. What a freaking... Holy God. Where do I have a bunch of messages from? I have, what is this, what is this, where is this? Oh, something new happened here. Okay, I was gonna say, where in the frick is this freaking message coming from? It's just all these Discord messages that are like, oh, yeah, you gotta check this spot, you gotta check this spot. I think we're on mission six now. I don't know. <laughs> Cadets log. Last week was a really hard one, but I feel my crew's performance is beginning to improve. Corn. Corn. Hi, David. What's up? Weren't you supposed to be studying the nav sims tonight? I studied a couple hours and I needed to take a break. So we can either just say forget it and move on, or we can literally call him out that he's not doing much better. Your scores in the simulator haven't improved that much. We've been through this. And we'll keep going through it until you deliver what you're capable of. Okay, what do you want me to do? <laughs> just getting into a big fight with him. I want you to study NAV protocols for three hours before our next mission. Corn, what's wrong? Look, it's like this. If I don't try hard, it doesn't matter if I fail. But if I study hard and I still don't make it. <laughs> what a lame excuse. You're a loser, Corin. What about the rest of us? You know, we're doing our best, and we're getting nothing from you. Look, David, I can't guarantee anything, but I'll try. Cadet's log, supplemental. Not my best moment as a commanding officer. Except for that it raises our grade by 5%. And it raises his grade by 3%. So, it is your best moment, and it is exactly what you're supposed to do there. You are supposed to confront him, and not be afraid and back down. You're supposed to be his his commanding officer, is what you're supposed to do there. The actions of the Venturi Raiders are not popular with the majority of the people on Venturi home. Several Venturi diplomats are aboard the USS LaGrange. You will escort the LaGrange to Omega-12-300, which the diplomats report is the headquarters for the Venturi Raiding Force. There, they will attempt to negotiate a settlement. There is a problem. Omega-12-300 is beyond the galactic barrier. 
a mysterious energy field that encompasses the known galaxy. You will have to penetrate the barrier in order to reach the Venturi. This is an extremely dangerous area that's known to have dangerous side effects on some of the people traveling through it. So be careful. Captain's Log, Stardate 3221.6. We are scheduled to escort the USS LaGrange to the Venturi stronghold outside the galactic barrier in order to negotiate a settlement to the Venturi crisis. They put their stronghold outside the galactic barrier? Excuse me? Captain, three Venturi ships just came out of warp. They are coming at us on an attack vector. What? Red alert! Correction. They're attacking the Star Trek. Range has been destroyed. That's up. Popper in reverse. All Venturi ships have been destroyed or disabled, Captain. Starbase 23 is secure. But we lost the LaGrange. Captain, an instant before the LaGrange was destroyed, I sensed something. It was as if I was in a mind meld with someone who was experiencing a sharp pain. You think there were Vulcans on the LaGrange? There were no Vulcans or individuals with known psi talents aboard the LaGrange. What I sensed seemed like it originated far away farther than my mind could comprehend. It was a mind of great power. Incoming message from Starfleet, Captain. Let's hear it. But this is a With simulation. With the destruction of the LaGrange, <laughs> our peace mission is over. However, we do know the location of the Venturi base. Your new orders are to proceed to Omega-12-300 and reconnoiter the Venturi forces. We need accurate intelligence on Venturi capabilities. Starfleet out. Course laid in, Captain. Galactic barrier in 10 seconds. All hands brace for impact. Medical team stand by. It always looks like you could just go over it or under it, but they make it, they, they definitely make it seem like you absolutely can't. And it's, it, that's Omega true in the show, too. System. To complete our mission, we should scan the Venturi base. Um, Captain, we have a malfunction in the warp field generator. We have full power in the warp engines, but no way to use our warp drive. Captain, this vessel appears to be an alien derelict predating the Federation. From the Captain, Prelet Alshoff is hailing us. He's forcing his transmission on screen. This is quite a pilgrimage you've made, Captain. Yeah. Perhaps now we can clear up the misunderstandings that have plagued our relationship. Now, why have you been attacking my followers? Many people have problems with the actions of your followers. Are you willing to answer for them? I'd like to know I'd like to know more about who you are. Many people have problems with the actions of your followers. Are you willing to answer for them? I'd like I'd like to know more 12 billion years <laughs> ago. God created the universe in a fiery explosion. Okay. and spread it over the vast vacuum of space. Sure. He created many wonders, 
But even he couldn't create appreciation of these wonders without sentience. So he created us. But life was still too small, too limited in its viewpoint to truly understand creation. Thus, he created the barrier by which sentience could expand their minds and commune with the very nature of the universe. Oh. I am the first captain. No. The first being to commune with God in all his glory. Um. And to keep his mind intact. Oh. All hail all shaf. Aren't you all shaf? The true and final voice of God. I'm not here to be a theologian, Alshaf. Do you want peace with the Federation or not? I believe I believe in you, Alshaf. I believe in you. I I'm not here to be a theologian, Alshaf. Do you want peace with the Federation or not? I answer to the will of God, Captain. And strangely enough, it suddenly seems to me that he doesn't want peace at all. The Venturi Renegades must have found these ships and restored them. It's no wonder no one's ever seen them before. Derelict ship. All right, our warp drive's offline. Oh, that's a lot of ships. Upper shields have been hit. Life support has been hit. Starboard shields have been hit. Warp engines are critical. Offline. Heavy casualties on all decks. Hearing the cost. Oh. Oh boy. The actions. Captain's log. <laughs> Captain, three Venturi ships just came out of warp. They are coming at us on an attack vector. Correction. No. They're attacking the star base. God, so am I, though. Hearing the cost of your captain's log. <laughs> the Grange has been destroyed. Yeah, me too. Captain, three Venturi ships just came out of warp. They are coming at us on an attack vector. Correction: They're attacking the Star. <laughs> One phaser beam left. Oh, 
Yeah, you maybe want to get that. Get. Oh my God. Like the phaser and the torpedo should be fine. Oh, I don't even have During a warp in the cell. <laughs> oh my god. The action captain's log. This went really well the first time, and now not so fucking much. Captain, three Venturi ships just came out of warp. They're Captain, the Lagrange requires assistance. No shit. <laughs> It sure the hell does. Life support has been hit. Oh. Mr. Are you alright? I hit the star base. My bad. All Venturi ships have been what we lost. You think that in Cal Let's hear it. Course laid in, Captain. Da -dun, da -dun, ba -ba -ba. All right, you want to repair the shields real fast there? And by real fast, I mean however long it takes you, man. You be a bud. You're on it. Got this. I'm not going to rush him. We're just going to sit here and wait. We have a little bit of time. Forward shields repaired. Nice. Shields are still uh, having a bad time, according to you. Galactic barrier intense. Entering Omega 12 300 system. To complete our mission, we should scan the Venturi base. Um, Captain, we have a malfunction in the warp field generator. We have full power in the warp engines, but no way to use. There is a small base entrenched in the surface of the planetoid. They have a small fusion reactor, a transporter system, and a sensor array. I find no evidence of defensive systems or communications. There are approximately 32 life forms within the complex. All are Venturi. There is nothing unusual to report, Captain. Mission objective complete. Captain, Prelate Alshoff is hailing us. He's forcing his transmission on screen. This is quite a pilgrimage you've made, Captain. Many people have problems with the actions of your followers. Are you... I'd like to know many people... The conflicts we have experienced in the past are merely the misfortune of war, Captain. Your people should put it behind them and get on with their lives. Do you consider the taking of innocent lives trivial? But you do want to make peace with the Federation, don't you, Alshon? Do you consider the taking of innocent lives trivial? To God, 
What is not trivial? Your life, perhaps mine? Let us see whose life is truly important. There is nothing unusual to report, Captain. The Venturi cruiser's power readings far exceed its engine capacity. It is logical, given what we have seen of Alshaf's psychokinetic powers, to assume that Alshaf himself is using his abilities to boost the power of the ship. Captain, this vessel appears to be an alien derelict predating the Federation. From the rate of atomic decay within the ship's hull, I would guess that this vessel is over 70,000 years old. The Venturi renegades must have found these ships and restored them. It's no wonder no one's ever seen them before. There is nothing unusual to report, Captain. I mean, I'm not going to be able to take on two, two of them at the same time. It's just not going to happen. But if I can delay how long it takes them to reach me. They're breaking off. The other vessel is coming in. Coming in from two different vectors. It's kind of smart of them. Port side shields have been hit. Lower life support has been hit. Heavy casualties on all decks, Captain. Wow. I've already lost all my weapon systems. Secondary and tertiary conduits to the phasers, Captain. I can't get them working, sir. Wow. The actions of the. Wow. What? It crashed. <laughs> it crashed. It crashed. It crashed and burned. The captain's log. Okay. We're going back in. It was easy. It was easy to relaunch. Captain, three Venturi ships just came out of warp. They are coming at us on an attack vector. Correction, they're attacking the Star Base. The ship's not going anywhere ever again. Captain's log. Start. Oh my god. Captain, three Venturi ships just came out of warp. They are coming at us on an attack vector. Correction. They're attacking the starbase. Wow, he's way over there this time.
But we lost the range. Course laid in, Captain. Entering Omega 12 300 system. To complete our mission, we should scan the Venturi base. Um, Captain, we have a malfunction in the warp field generator. We have full power in the warp engines, but no way to use our warp drive. There is a small mission objective complete. Captain, Prelet Alshoff is hailing us. He's forcing his transmission on screen. Okay. Many people have. Do you consider that what you do want to make peace with the Federation, don't you, Alshoff? I answer to the will of God, Captain. And strangely... God doesn't want peace. Gotcha. Upper shields repaired. Life support has been hit. I literally can't even find him. Okay. Port side shields repaired. Shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. Lower shields have been hit. Port side shields repaired. Lower shields repaired. God, I cannot find him anymore. Upper shields online. Forward shields have been hit. Forward shields repaired. Okay, that's one down. Repair crews are working on it. Port side shields online. I gotta get it right. Two hits. Got him. Got him. Do not want to ram. Oh, God. I see what you're trying to do, you asshole. the warp drive hailing frequency open starfleet starfleet we've lost our warp nacelles during your mission your warp capacity was destroyed even though you made attempts to restore it you still needed to get a tow home you failed the mission Please try this mission again. Holy moly. All right, we're going down to pledge. We're just going to have to. The do actions. It. Captain's log. It's hard. It's really hard. What the heck? What the heck? Ghost hunting with Markiplier? Captain, three Venturi <laughs> ships just came out of warp. 
They are coming at us on an attack vector. Correction, they're attacking the starbase. Wow. No matter how hard you try, you can't save the grains, by the way. Are you alright? The range has been destroyed. We've completed repairs on the tractor beam, sir. Life support is okay. But we lost. But we you lost. Think there the were Vulcans on the Incoming message. Let's hear it. Force laid in, Captain. All right. Well, we definitely took some pretty serious damage, even though we made it that time. Forward shields online. We're gonna have to wait for him to repair most of the ship. We made it, but like, oof. F3 and it goes between that. I think there's. Whoa, what the heck? Oh! We've completed repairs on the phasers, Captain. We've Zoom completed level. repairs on the phasers, Captain. Whoa! <laughs> That's really weird. Is that a. Is that in the controls? What, what is that doing? <laughs> Page up and page down. Zoom in, zoom out, yeah. Reset zoom is home. View forward, back, left, right. View back is F11. Which would be much, much more helpful for trying to fire torpedoes, you know? It's hard to know when you're looking back and forward. forward I guess there's a white, repaired. there's a, yeah, whichever direction you're looking is white on the radar. All right. We've completed repairs on the warp drive, sir. Good. Be prepared for me to lose anyways. Not even a joke, like legitimately. Be prepared for me to lose anyways. Entering Omega 12 300 system. To complete our mission, we should scan the Venturi base. Um, Captain, we have a malfunction in the warp field generator. We have full power in the warp engines, but no way to use our warp drive. Mission objective complete. Captain, pray let out. Man, I'd right. like to know more. I'd like to know more about I who you are. I believe in you, Alshaw. I believe in you, Alshaw. You mock me. What? No. I know all there is to know. Alshaw, I believe you in you. And your mission. I'm just here to scan ah, you. It's fine. But my blood shall not flow today. Okay. Alshaf, I believe in you. And your derelict ships that are coming right at me from some direction somewhere. Aha! Um, this is probably a really bad idea. Port side shields have been hit! We need to complete repairs on the tractor. Life support is critical. Heavy casualties on all decks, Captain. 
Port side shields repaired. Good. You uh, gonna be able to get anything else in time? I'm guessing no. We have a hole breach, Captain. I'm guessing no. Captain's Captain, three Venturi ships just came out of warp. They are coming at us on an attack vector. Correction, they're attacking the Starbase. No, they're attacking the Lagrange. Life support has been hit. Pairs on the tractor beam, sir. Do, 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 do. Port side shields have been hit. Port side shields are here. Vice support has been hit. Port, port side shields down to 50%. Probe system has been hit. Forward shields repaired. Aft shields repaired. Do, 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 do. Just because it was fun. <laughs> Ship. Incoming. Let's course laid in, Captain. Do -do -do -boo. Let's check our damage. The shields, as expected. Port side shields repaired. <sighs> Galactic barrier intent. Entering Omega twelve three hundred system. To complete our mission, we should scan the Venturi base. Um, Captain? Mission objective complete. Yeah, I know. We we don't have warp drive, and we don't know why. Captain, pray I'd like, I'd like, many people, I'd like, I'd like to know more about who you... I'm not here to be... Figure out what's wrong with the warp drive. We can't, we can't do it, Captain. We can't initiate a warp field. We can't do it, Captain. We can't initiate a warp field. There they are. That's behind us right now, just so you're all aware. They're gaining. Slowly, but they're gaining. At this speed. Okay, what the hell do I do here? Shield efficiency is still really low. Jesus. No response, Captain. 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 Yeah, I got that. That was that was what I expected, really. And initiate a warp field. Why?
bring us around. Let's see. This friend is literally 20,000 kilometers farther away. Please tell me you've got the shields back online. Shields are only at 66% efficiency. I don't even have power for full impulse. might have this. Okay. I'll stop. Everything else is 70,000 kilometers away. Holy crap. We got him. Let's get those systems back online. Up get life repaired. support. I don't want any of us freaking having a bad time here right now. Looks like the impulse drive and the sensors didn't really take anything, which is good. That means we can keep a distance if they start to close on us. But it doesn't look like they will. It looks like they're just sitting there. Phasers are operational again, Captain. All right. We've completed repairs on the phasers, Captain. Oh, that's my volume is what's happening there. It, whenever I change my volume, it's popping up in the upper left corner of the monitor, which happens to be this entire. That's how small this game is running. That takes up almost the entire resolution of this game's resolution screen. It's insane. That's so much of the res. All right. We're on our way at like one quarter impulse power. Which is, we only have 16 photon torpedoes left too. This is bad. Okay, he's repairing the, tr the tractor beam now. And I've still got it. The shields are still being worked on. We're only at 37%. Can we at least get the shields back? Good.
There is nothing unusual to report, Captain. We've completed repairs on the tractor beam, sir. I don't want to launch a probe because I just don't have... We've completed repairs on the warp drive, sir. Which we can't activate. can't do it, Captain. We can't initiate a warp field. There is nothing unusual to report, Captain. The Venturi cruiser's power readings far exceed its engine capacity. It is logical, given what we have seen of Alshaf's psychokinetic powers, to assume that Alshaf himself is using his abilities to boost the power of the ship. Want more power for the impulse drive. Okay. I know this is going to seem ridiculous, but I kind of want to come in real slow. I don't know if he can fire out of those vessels, and I don't know what I'm supposed to target here. Those ships all have shields up. There's no way I could take on that many medium, medium vessels. All stop. Manual phasers. I'm glad I'm getting all the time in the world to do this. missing all right let's go back to auto auto targeting and bring ourselves in nice and slow ah captain the ship has been subject to a psychokinetic Attack with the same psychokinetic force as before. Must have had extraordinary power. Course laid in, Captain. He was on that one. Okay, well, get us the heck out of here then. Captain, the warp drive is not online. Oh. 
Yeah, I can fix that. I think I might I might have just guessed lucky. I'm not willing to I'm not willing to risk it. I'm not lowering the shoes. Okay, we're out of here. Galactic barrier in ten seconds. We'll watch it again. All hands brace for impact. Medical team stand by. We're through again. We. Repairs to communication systems complete, sir. Good, because I'm about to try to hail the Starbase. Mission accomplished, Starfleet. Congratulations on making it through a difficult series. We should also like to extend our special thanks to Sturek for helping us act out the psychic powers of Alshoff in that scenario. The death of Alshoff brings an end to the main raiding force of the Venturi. You may have noticed as the scenarios progressed, the raiders became less communicative. That was no coincidence. Alshoff's mental control over his followers was increasing as time went on. It is possible that you will see Venturi raiders again not all of the Raiders needed to be coerced to help their leader. Until then, you are dismissed. All right, then. Darn right, that was a difficult series. Oh, we made it. Cadet's log. Audio control? Despite my best efforts, Robin continues to isolate himself, and it's really hurting his performance. Corrin's grades are still low, and this morning I was called into Rothro's office. Uh oh. Enter. Cadet, I understand you have a busy and full schedule, but that does not account for your performance in the simulator. I expect much better from you and your crew. Yes, sir. Have you seen Corn's ratings for this simulation? No, sir. Corn's ratings have improved dramatically. But there's still an issue with Cadet Brady's performance. I'll talk to Robin about it, sir. Good. Robin is technically proficient, but has trouble meshing with the team. Additional study won't improve his scores. He needs to feel comfortable as a member of your team. Sir, what happens if Robin's scores don't improve? The only way Cadet Brady's scores won't improve is if he can't handle the simulator. His class works fine. It's your job to make sure he does well in the simulator. Dismissed. Nikia, what are you doing here? David, I am Dismissed, not going to- Dismissed, Cadet! Yes, sir! Cadet's log, supplemental. I'm worried about Magia, but until I get a chance to talk to her, there's really nothing I can do. Hello, David. Faith Gage. Oh, yes, Faith. How are you doing? Good. Uh, do you mind if I sit? No, go ahead. Thank you. Oh, hey. I'm glad I have a chance to talk to you. you oh, know, yeah? Corin talks a lot about you. Well, I'm glad you came by. I... I really wanted to talk to you about Robin Brady. I wanted to talk to you, actually. About one of my crew, Robin Brady. Yeah. Are you two... No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have him in a few of my classes, but, um... Other than engineering, he doesn't seem to have many other interests. Well, he's pulled his head out of a Jeffrey's tube long enough to develop a crush on you. <laughs> yeah. He's a nice kid, but um, I couldn't possibly be interested in someone whose whole life is dilithium matrices. Yeah, I know. I, um, I've been trying to get him out more. Yeah. Do you have any suggestions? Well, yeah, why doesn't he join one of the groups on campus? David, have you been watching the news? No, what? Brother has been repeating the announcement We've every five given minutes. We've official confirmation that the Federation colony on Bicea was destroyed two days ago by unknown forces. There are no survivors. McGee had relatives on Bicea, didn't she? Yeah, her mom lived on that planet. They better give her some leave time. Well, Bicea was one of the disputed worlds, wasn't it? Right along the Klingon neutral zone? Correct. Oh. Before the Organian Peace Treaty, both the Federation and the Klingon Empire had a claim to Bicea. 
Andrew, you must feel so awful. McGee, I'm sorry. Thank you, David. All of you for your concern. We can put our missions on hold during your leave of absence. That won't be necessary. As your captain, I could order you to take some time off. You would be exceeding your authority. McGee, yeah. I am going to study now. Wait a minute. Fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> Cadet's log supplemental. Now what am I going to do? Cadet's log. Despite her recent loss, Magia came through just fine in the last sim. Yeah. So I guess Starfleet knows best. Although I'm still very worried about her. On the other hand, Robin's scores continue to drop. Enter. Robin, uh, come on in, have a seat. David, you want to talk to me? Yeah, uh, I wanted to talk to you about the, about the team. Robin, I want to talk to you about the team. I thought everything was going okay. Oh, it is, it is. But uh, I want you to spend more time with the team. Outside the simulator. <laughs> Do I have to? Yes, you do. <laughs> uh, let's try being nice to him, because he needs a friend. Robin, we just... We want your company. At least come to our poker games. I never know what to say to the others. Don't worry about saying anything. You'll never know if you don't try. Um. That's that's easy to hear for a shy guy, though. It's it's easy for a shy guy, uh, someone who's shy, to be told, you know, hey, you'll never know if you don't give it a shot. So. Don't worry about saying anything. The rest of them can talk enough for the both of us. How am I supposed to get anything done if I'm socializing? What? Am I supposed to stay out all night like Corrin does? You gotta find a balance. Just like Corrin. I don't... I don't like socializing. I like... transporter matrices. Matter to energy conversions. The new replicator theories. Robin, th the best place for you to learn all about that is here. I'm not sure I'll ever fit in. <sighs> Look, if you leave the Academy, you'll never know how... How good you could have been. How far you could have gone. That's not fair. This is easy for you. You fit in. Everybody likes you. Everybody really likes you. You must have noticed by now that I don't fit in. Robin, Robin, sit down, okay? It's really hard on me. I'm aware of that. That's why you need to socialize more. Look, the only way to fit in is to go into that lounge and face them. I'll try, David. I'll try and socialize more. Great. And then maybe we can talk about some of those replicator theories you're working on, huh? I'd like that. Okay. Look, I'll, I'll see you in the lounge, okay? Thanks, David. Cadet's log supplemental. You know, just when you think you're handling a problem, another appears. This time it was by Sia again. The what? Klingon Empire had nothing to do with the loss of the Vicia colony. However, there is bitter justice in the colony's failure. The Federation should never have put fragile Andorians and humans on such a hostile world. Only Klingons could have tamed Bicea. Liar! What about the energy readings on Bicea? Didn't they show Klingon disruptors destroyed the colony? The trace energy on Bicea was similar to the patterns made by Klingon disruptors, but that does not conclusively prove Klingon involvement. Oh, so was all those other races on the Klingon border that use disruptors. Why are you defending the Klingons, Sturek? Though I regret your personal loss, I must point out that Bicea was not a particularly important colony, nor was it strategically placed. 
It is illogical to assume that the Klingons would start a war in a world that would gain them so little. Well, isn't that just like a Vulcan? Using logic to deny the obvious. Face it, Milan. You've lost this argument. We need to change the Federation's whole He didn't even have an argument yet. <laughs> we hadn't even started arguing. You lost already. <laughs> just, we haven't even started it yet. How do you propose we even do that? Interesting point. How do you propose to do that? If you ask me, the Vanguard is the right answer. The Vanguard? What's that? It is a group that is as tired as you are of the Federation's response to outside threats. The Vanguard says it's time for humans to take care of humans. I see. And what about all the other races that are a part of the Federation? That's just what I'm talking about. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? The races inside the Federation already live the right way. It's oh. the races outside of the Federation the that right are the problem. Way. <laughs> well, I better be going. I got a Xeno Psych class. See you later, Milan. Sounds fascinating. Sounds frightening. They might be possibly just what the Federation needs. Well, look, I don't know what the Federation needs, but I need a drink. Here, here. Yeah, right? <laughs> I don't know what they need, but I need a fucking drink. All right, I'm at 92. Sturrock went up a little bit. Brady went up a little. He's at 74. He's still at 76, and she's dropped all the way to 72. Her grades are dropping fast. All right, we're up at mission eight now, though. Welcome, cadets. We're conducting an experiment in the Alpha Hercule system using charged tachyon particles to increase the efficiency of a conventional warp drive. We oh, set yeah? up the USS Hawking an Oberth class vessel to perform the experiment and we will need you to observe at close range and perform data analysis. That is all. Good luck. Oh. Captain's log, stardate 3173.4. Okay. We're traveling to the Alpha Hercule system to observe an engineering experiment that is being conducted aboard the USS Hawking. Everything appears routine. Course yeah, but in, you know it won't be. You know we'll have to shoot something. You know you're already aware. Entering Alpha Hercule system. I'm glad we uh, adjusted there. <laughs> the experiment will begin when we get close to the USS Hawking. Okay. We are now in range. The experiment can begin. Ooh. Initial tachyon burst. Dispersion at 10 million tachyons per cubic meter. 20 million. 30 million. That doesn't seem good. Being hailed by the bird of prey. Hailing frequency open. The Klingon Empire will not permit you to create another Project Genesis. We have the right to defend ourselves. Leave the system now or be destroyed. That's... Coward didn't even give us a chance to respond. That's not even what we're doing. Red alert. What the heck, dude? Dude! Upper shields have been hit. Upper shields down to 50%. Forward shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair.
air crews are working on it. Oh my god. Upper shields online. There is nothing unusual to report, Captain. Forward shields repaired. Lower shields have been hit. Forward shields have been hit. Upper shields are critical, sir. Upper shields online. System is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. Upper shields are critical, sir. Your phasers have been destroyed, sir. Forward shields have been hit. Destroyed? Port side shields online. Oh. So of our warp shields cells. Online. Forward shields repaired. Well, dang it. <laughs> Captain's log. Course laid in, Captain. That didn't go very well for us, did it? Entering Alpha Hercule system. Alpha Hercule system. We're here. The experiment Hello. will begin when we get close to the USS Hawking. We are now in. I remember this one. This is a fun one. Port side shield. That shield. We're being for that shield. Captain, the Hawking is and hailing frequency. The the coward. <laughs> Got him good that time. Lower shields online. What happened back there? The disruption split the ship into two parts, Captain. We must get the other Tempest back here and use the Tachyon device to reunite ourselves. Oh. The Tachyon burst has weakened our structural integrity. Oh. Unless we're reunited. Both ships will be destroyed. Captain, the other Tempest warped to the Dante system. But why? I think I can guess. Six years ago, my Uncle Alan was killed in a skirmish with the Klingons in that system. I'm sorry, David. <sighs> Uncle Alan died commanding the USS Essex. He'd always come back every year or two and tell me stories and, and give me stuff that he picked up in all the systems he went to. I guess he's one of the reasons I'm going into Starfleet. When he died, I was mad. I, I was mad enough to kill. And when Dante was awarded to the Klingons, I got even madder. Now I've gotten over it, but... You still have those emotions in your subconscious, Captain. And the commander of the duplicate ship may be driven by your subconscious. It's funny when you realize that these are all... These are all simulations, right? None of it none of what we're what we're going through is like actually a thing. It's all simulations that have been designed to test us. Um so I always find it really fun to remember that when you're looking at like at like these scenarios that we're going through because it means that they they must have written the simulation to respond to us but like it's like written with his background in mind for there to be a evil him. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? <laughs> we got our engines back online, Captain. You can take her into warp anytime now. Cool. I always find it really ridiculous. Like the, this one, it's Once it's I fun. And it, the it, it, Captain, the Tempest is heading towards Dante too. Hi, Davy. How you doing? <laughs> this is. We don't have much time. We've got to get back to Alpha Hercule and get ourselves back together. Oh, sorry, Davy, but I don't care about you or my own survival. There's something I have to do, and I'll either do it or I'll die. Isn't that what Starfleet's all about? The success of the mission. By the way, Vanda, if he hasn't told you that you're incredibly attractive, then I will. That's all. 
I do. Shields repaired. Upper shields have been hit. Upper shields repaired. Forward shields have been hit. Forward shields repaired. Forward side shields have been hit. Port side shields repaired. Upper shields have been hit. Oh shit! Course laid in, Captain. <laughs> the Uxus Tempest has been destroyed. Well, we lose. Welcome, Captain's Law. Course we lose. In, one too many torpedoes. <laughs> I thought it could take one more. But it could. It couldn't Entering take one Alpha more. Hercule system. What? What? The experiment will begin when we get close to the USS Hawking. We are now in range. Hailing freak the, the coward. We are being hailed by the murder. Hello? No, you're here. Where are you at? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Right. Starboard shields have been hit. Oh, come now. Stop running away. Starboard shields repaired. There we go. What happened back? I'm sorry. Course laid in, Captain. Entering the Dante system. Captain, the Tempest is heading towards Dante 2. Hiya, Davy. Hiya, Davy. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you imposter, I order you to surrender immediately. Yeah, right, sure, I'm gonna surrender. Give me a break, Davy. You know why I'm here, what I'm planning to do. Stop me if you can. By the way, Amanda, if he hasn't told you that you're incredibly attractive, <laughs> then I will. That's all. Bye. Bye, Davy. <laughs> Upper shields have been hit. Fort side shields have been hit. Fort side shields down to 50%. Sir. That shield system is damaged, Captain. Rep 
repair crews are working on it. Okay, that looked like it just completely disabled that ship. So I think we are... Tempest has no, uh, no to photon torpedoes, phasers, or, um, or warp drive. But it's here. Starting the tachyon pulse procedure. Well, let's hope this works. I've had enough of a split personality as it is. Constitution complete. Our structural integrity is now normal. Wasn't that recombining process just a little too easy, Mr. Sturk? It's only a simulation, Jeff. I think I need to have a long talk with Chekhov about this one. Course laid in, Captain. <laughs> it's only a simulation. Forward shields repaired. Hailing frequency open. Everything is mission accomplished, Starfleet. Why would you shoot at someone on your side? Friends are hard enough to find out there. Don't shoot at them. Shooting at a friendly ship carries a big penalty in this simulator, but not nearly as big as the one for doing it for real. Permission to speak freely, sir. Go ahead, Mr. Forrester. Why... Why did you take things that were personal and use it against me? Because, Mr. Forrester, we're trying to prepare you for what's out there, the unknown. There are things in space that will do everything they can to turn you into an emotional cripple. And if we have to tear open all wounds and rub a little salt in, we'll do it. Yes, sir. Don't worry, son. You did well. Just remember, we can't prepare you for everything. But we can certainly try. Dismissed. Did, did I still pass? <laughs> it carries a big penalty, but did I pass? <laughs> yes, apparently. Starfleet finally struck back. Klingons have gone too far this time. Those marauding... What's going on? The USS Sentinel just fought a couple birds of prey in the neutral zone. The engagement ended inconclusively, with no ships destroyed and no loss of life. He wants to start a fight. The captain of the Sentinel showed the Federation how a true Starfleet captain acts. Yeah. Hey, Milan. Since when are you the authority on captains, cadet? What's the matter, Forster? Are you afraid that you actually might have to fight someday? Are you afraid your facts won't support your story? Leave him be, David. I can't believe you're supporting him. He's making sense. You're wrong. No, you're wrong. You're the one who... I liked the other David Forrester better. What are you gonna do? Trouble with the crew, Forrester? Listen, you handle your crew. I'll handle mine. Come on. We need a captain like Kirk to avenge Bicea. Uh-huh. Cadet's log. I asked Captain Sulu about Milan's vanguard speeches today. He said that Starfleet follows the policy of IDIC, infinite diversity in infinite combinations. This means we have to respect Milan's beliefs even if we disagree with them. I've got to admit, it's hard to respect a belief that doesn't respect the rights of others. 
but I'll try to do my best for the command staff and for Starfleet. And for Starfleet. The Federation Council President formally apologized to the Klingon High Council over the aggressive actions by the USS Sentinel. Sure he did. The Klingons concede uh, that the discharge of weapons was based on a misunderstanding. Oh, I don't believe it. They sold us out. Face it, Milan, you're wrong. But the Federation apologized to butchers. Sit down. I'm not gonna sit down. It's the Federation's future that's at stake here. I can't watch this. He is way out of line. Lofty words for someone who refuses to get involved. I'm worried about her. Me too. And Dorians are different, David. Their ways with dealing with grief have nothing to do with being calm. This Ice Queen act is bizarre. Yeah, it's unnerving to see her so controlled. David, it's affecting the team's performance. It is, actually. You're right. So what am I supposed to do about it? I don't know. But you better come up with something fast, or all our hard work is going right out the airlock. Thanks, Jeff. I'll, I'll think about it. Sure. Sure. <laughs> We gotta figure it out. Who knows what, but it is something we gotta do. I'm at 92. She's up to 96. Her scores are going up. Acton's up to up to 80. Corin's at 81? Holy crap, Corin's becoming good. Brady still sucks. For several years, we've been receiving subspace distress calls from the HIA system just outside of Gorn space. Gorn? These signals seem to come from every known race in the quadrant, as well as several races we've never heard from before. We have tried answering these beacons, but have received no reply. Go to the HIA system and determine the source of these signals and hopefully stop them by solving any problems. Captain's log, start at 3262.4. We're en route to the HIA system to investigate a strange set of subspace distress calls. We don't know why so many different races would be in distress in a single system. But I guess that's what we'll find out. Course laid in, Captain. Okie dokie. We're being hailed by everyone. All of the known space traveling races in this quadrant. And a few I've never heard of in the world. How many ships are there, Mr. Stirk? None, sir. The messages appear to originate from HIA-5. Return the hails, Magia. They don't seem to be responding. Wait. They've changed. There are several sources now. One of them is repeating our hail. Captain, this phenomenon may be a type of subspace resonance, capturing and repeating all subspace messages broadcast within the system. If that's what it is, then it's coming from the moons of that gas giant. All the messages are originating from there. The moons? Captain, a Gorn ship is approaching from the other side of the sun. Perhaps its captain can answer some of our questions. There's no response, Captain. The Gorn ship, huh? Hailing channel open, Captain. This is Captain Sushin of the Gorn Harvester Ship Sweet Song. Why is a human starship in this system? I am Captain David Forrester of the United Federation of Planets. We are responding to a number of subspace distress calls that are coming from this system. There are no other ships in this space but yours and mine. Ah, you must be referring to the mimics. The what? what are the mimics? A space-dwelling life form. They generate their own warp phenomenon and travel between the stars. More important, they receive subspace transmissions and repeat them. This makes them a prized commodity on the Gorn homeworld. Uh... They can be quite entertaining. Excuse me. In what way are they entertaining, Captain? When given the right subspace inducement, those creatures sing along the subspace bands. 
We then take the sound into an audible band that is delightful to listen to. Now, I must harvest some mimics for the next concert. They do not fare well in captivity and must be constantly replaced. Um... Sturrock, have these mimics shown up anywhere else in known space? Thank you for, thank you for the information, Captain Sushin. Now, please leave the system while we continue to study these mimics. I assure you they will not be harmed. Sturrock, Corrin, is there any change in the status of the Gorn ship? Sturrock, what is your estimate of the intelligence level of these mimics? Sturrock, what kind of vessel are we dealing with here? Sturrock, what is your estimate of the intelligence level of these mimics? Captain, the fact that these mimics use distress calls when the Gorn ship approaches indicates that they have a modicum of intelligence. They seem to be aware that the appearance of the Gorn Harvester presents a danger to them. Hailing frequency open, Captain. Thank you, thank you. Cap Captain, uh, Captain, I must ask you to cease your activities. These mimics are in danger from your actions. Captain, if you take that ship anywhere near those mimics, I'll blow you out of the system. <laughs> thank you for your explanation of the situation, Captain. Captain, I must- Captain David Forrester, this interference in Gorn traditions will not be taken lightly. Leave this system now, before I am forced to call on the Royal Gorn Navy. I assure you, Captain, that we will defend the mimics from your actions. I must ask you to leave the system now, Captain. Please, do not make me enforce my request. I Very good, Captain Sushin. We'll leave now, but we will make a full report to the Federation. I, I must ask you to leave the system now, Captain. I'm not taking any more of this, Sushin. Mr. Korn, red alert. I must ask you to leave the system now, Captain. Please, do not make me enforce my request. I assure you, Captain, that we will defend the mimics from your actions. It's either the first I one or the second one. I must ask you to leave the system now, Captain. Very, I imagine good, this Captain one. Sushin. We'll leave now, but we will make a full report to the Federation. I imagine this one is actually going to get us bad marks. Um, but really, we should be contacting the Federation about this. We shouldn't just be out here shooting the Gorn because they're they're being bad. Um, so I am going to say this one, but I suspect it's going to get us a failing mark. Hailing frequency open. Starfleet, everything is... The mimics are not responding, Captain. They are using broadcast replications. Mostly musical wave patterns. There's no response, Captain. I still have to protect them anyways. I can't even leave the system. It won't even let me. I'm not the even. Messages appeared originally from here five. Return the hails, Magia. What's going on? Okay, restart. Restart. For several captains log. Course laid in, Captain. I guess we'll just tell him like with, that we won't stand down everyone. this time. All of the known space traveling races in this quadrant, and a few I've never heard of. How many ships are there, Mr. Sturt? None, sir. The messages appear to originate from here five. Return the hails, Magia. They don't seem to be responding. Wait. They've changed. There are several sources now. One of them is repeating our hail. Captain, this phenomenon may be a type of subspace resonance, capturing and repeating all subspace messages broadcast within the system. If that's what it is, then it's coming from the moons of that gas giant. All the messages are originating from there. I am now scanning for life forms known to be capable of surviving in these conditions. I have found the source of the broadcast, Captain. 
There are approximately 40 silicon-based life forms within the ring segments indicated by Ensign Magia. The messages just changed, Captain. Mostly random exclamations. I think they're reacting to Mr. Sturrock's probes. That would indicate these beings are capable of detecting and emitting subspace frequencies. Captain, a Gorn ship is approaching from the other side of the sun. Perhaps its captain can answer some of our questions. Hailing channel open, Captain. This is Cap- I am Cap- There. What are the- Us. In. Wind. Stur- Corrin. Sturrock. Have these mimics shown up anywhere else in known space? No, Captain. They are almost extinct in this quadrant. Oh. Hailing frequency open, Captain. Captain, if you take that ship anywhere near- Captain, Captain, I must- Captain David F I- I must ask you to leave the system now, Captain. Please, do not make me enforce my request. Very well, Captain. I will return to Gorn space. But I will send the Gorn Navy to deal with you. The Gorn vessel is leaving the system, sir. Captain, we may be able to save the Mimics by taking them from the system. Magia, update Starfleet about our situation. While that's happening, we can orbit here 5 to stay hidden. Sturrock, I want you to come up with a method of luring the Mimics away from this area. While that's happening, we can orbit here 5 to stay hidden. Captain, with the help of communications officer Magia, I was able to establish that the mimics are greatly attracted to the crisis rock music of the 21st century. We are broadcasting it now. Oh, we are? Three mimics are moving toward the ship, repeating fractions of the music back to us. Very good, Sturrock. Magia, that may be important information later. Mr. Korn, plot us a course to the nearest uninhabited system with similar features to this one. Captain, I have a course entered for the ANRAC system. It's almost identical to the HIA system and is 14 light years away in Federation space. Mr. Mr. Sturrock, amplify the signal to the mimics. Let's see how many we can lure out of this system. Very good, Mr. Korn. Let's keep this information in <laughs> case we need it. Mr. Sturrock. Let's see how many we Captain, can lure. The mimics are responding to the broadcast. <laughs> Mr. Sturrock, very good. Only a few good. of the mimics Mr. are still Sturrock. in the rings. The rest are following us. All right. Well, are they able to follow us at warp? Entering the Anrak system, there is a ring giant at approximately the same distance from the sun as HIA-5 in the HIA system. The messages from the Mimics have changed, sir. They seem to include every exclamation I've ever heard of. The Mimics are breaking away from us to approach the ring giant, sir. There doesn't seem to be any further problem. Uh, now, that they're, now that they're safe, we can deal with the Gorn without worrying about the Mimics. Anson? Set a course for the HIA system. Well, now that we have them safely tucked away, why don't we try some target practice? <laughs> I think we have successfully completed our mission. We can notify Starfleet to send over a specialized study group, now that the Mimics are out of harm's way. Now that they're safe, we can deal with the Gorn without worrying about the Mimics. Anson, set a course for the HIA system. Yeah, do we go back? I think we have successfully completed our mission. We can notify Starfleet to send over a specialized study group, now that the Mimics are out of harm's way. I'm receiving a message from Starfleet. We're to return to Starbase immediately. Course laid in, Captain. I feel like we're done, right? We got them out of harm's way. Hailing frequency open. Mission accomplished. Excellent, cadet. Your score and performance on this scenario were well above average. Good. I wonder what would happen if you did go back. That seems like it would be kind of rough. I'm still getting some distortion. Try the next processor. Yes, Commander. Good morning, Commander. Greetings, Captain. Still trying to get that thing to work. Ah. Touch of the specs on the new Klingon heavy cruiser. 
Why don't you plug it in, see how she flies? Right away, sir. He did. Captain, this is Cadet David Forrester. Glad to meet you, Cadet. It's an, it's an honor, sir. About last night. Kid looks nervous. Goodbye, sir. David. Is there a problem? I'm having a few problems with my crew. What seems to be the trouble? It's my communications officer, sir. She has a personal problem that has her ready to blow up. But she suppresses it. It's bringing down her work in the simulator. Before I joined the Enterprise, I had the commanding officer on Bendiri 4. She had a very hot temper. But she thought getting angry was unprofessional, so she would hold it all in. Whenever she did this, we knew we were in for serious trouble. If you want to help your communications officer, you must encourage her to express her emotions in a more appropriate place, outside of the simulator. How do I do that? That's for you to figure out. But if you've made it to Starfleet Command School, you've probably made somebody angry before. Try to do it again. With respect, sir, that's not much help. He obviously looks like it, it was a lot of help. He's like happy with the answer, but we can instead say that was uh, that's a shitty answer. That doesn't help. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Carry on, Mr. Forrester. We've got to get that Klingon ship simulation running by this afternoon. And keep your nose out of the ship performance specs. Yes, sir. Sir, does that mean that... Never mind what it means. Aye, sir. We're still at 92, 81, 91. Never have a problem with Sturek. <laughs> I mean, your grades sort of went up. They're They're not garbage anymore but i think this is still mission 10 actually but i'm gonna save after the conversation good morning cadets federation intelligence indicates that the klingons are building a new type of heavy cruiser codenamed the berta we have set up the simulator so you can fight it for yourself to win the simulation you must defeat it three times on your first pass you will have the help of a pair of miranda class cruisers on your second pass you will have a single Miranda. On your final pass, you will be on your own. Your goal is simple. Disable or destroy the Berta. You will be graded on your times as well as success. So get moving, cadets. Captain's log, Stardate 3610.5. This is a test of our capability against a new enemy threat. Get ready for the first wave. Coming at me. That thing just fired six more disruptors. This is your job. Life support is critical. Life support is critical. Captain, I am not impressed. Do you want a debriefing or do you want to get back into action immediately? <sighs> Let's. They got lucky, but I'm not quitting. No one blows up my ship and gets away with it. That's the sort of fighting spirit that I like to see. Okay, here it comes again. You get three lives, if I recall correctly, with how this works. All right, I need the Mirandas to go in first. It's on, it's after me. Of course it is. Back us off. Go forward.
There they are. I need a fucking con- I need better than a constitution class to do this. It's still just going straight at me. Lower shields have been hit. Lower shields down to 50%. Lower shields are critical, sir. That shield system is damaged. Yeah. Repair crews are working. Life support has been hit. Lower shields are critical, sir. It's turned around right now. Oh no, it's not. Lower shields have been hit. Oh, that's fine. Lower shields down to 50%. Lower shields are critical, sir. Half shields have been hit. Upper shields have been hit. Forward shields repaired. We completed repairs on the track. U upper shields are critical, sir. Lower shields are critical. Support is critical. Half shields repaired. Forward shields repaired. Forward shields have been hit. Forward shields down to 50%. Lower shields on. That shield system is damaged. Air crews are working on it. Starboard shields repaired. Get me my photon torpedoes back. Shields online. I am not it was about to blow up right there. Or do you want to get back into action immediately? I'm not. I'm not. It was about to blow up right there. I tried to fly like that. That was bad. Oh, hi. Lower shields down to 50%. Lower shields online. God! 
Captain, I am not impressed. Do you want a debriefing or do you want to get back into action immediately? They got Got him, Miranda. Starboard shields have been hit. Starboard shields. Our shields are critical, sir. That Klingon is history, Captain. Get ready for the next wave. All right, there's no way we win this one on one. It's just not gonna happen. But that's okay. We took out two of them. I think that's all you really need to do in this mission to for them to be okay with you. on my port. Starboard shields are critical, sir. Well, there went the starboard shields. Lower shields online. Aft shields have been hit. Aft shields. Upper shields are at critical, sir. Upper shields are at critical, sir. Forward shields online. Just need to keep hitting them in the ventral section. Forward shields are critical, sir. Forward side shields are critical, sir. Ah! Shields have been hit. Starboard shields are at critical, sir. Upper shields are at critical, sir. Okay. Starboard shields are at critical. Life support is critical. Let me give you a quick ah. lesson in Starship engineering. No ship design has an even field of fire in all three dimensions. I know! There will be weak points and strong points on each ship. I was doing that! Learn to identify your opponent's weak points and exploit them. I was. I was. I was, Captain Kirk! 
I was doing it. How do you think I got so far against it on my own that time? <laughs> it's, it's just right. more proof that Federation leaders are weaklings. They're giving away our colonies and allowing the Klingons to massacre our colonists. That theory doesn't hold water, Frank. Klingon colonies along the neutral zone are being attacked, too. Those are just rumors started by the Klingons to cover their tracks. Cadet Malat, assemble your crew and report to the simulator immediately. Let's go. Thank goodness. I can't stand that self-righteous creep. I know. Hi, crew. Hey, hey. David. Hey, has anyone seen Stark lately? No. Yeah, David. He had a project to work on in the lab. He said he made us in the simulator. Good. So, is everyone ready to take on the Klingons again? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> that will be acceptable. That reminds me, um, I told him I'd meet him in the lab. I'll see you guys later. Right, uh, Robin, would you help me with those subspace equations? Sure, Jana. It's a pretty simple once you know the overall. Magia, before we go, I think we need to discuss your conduct in the simulator lately. You don't have to be concerned. I am fully in control now. That's what I'm afraid of. What? Look, as long as you hide your feelings, by staying this calm on the outside, you're a threat to the crew. How can you say that? Because it's true. You're bringing us down in the simulator. That's insane! I've done nothing to endanger our standings. Yes, you have. Going into a mission when you're too busy suppressing your rage to do your job is affecting all of our standings in the Academy. Are you trying to start a fight? <laughs> Just piss her off. Face it, McGee, you're screwing up and it's affecting all of us. <laughs> David, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. I really have been bottling things up, I'm sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm 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 good. <laughs> I'll shape up, I swear it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know you will. But uh in the future, try to blow up a little bit now and again, you know? So uh I don't have to make a trip to sick bay. And uh in the meantime, let's just pretend this little thing didn't happen, okay? Yes, sir. <clears throat> so everything's straightened out now? Oh, I think you're going to see a big improvement in the team score. Absolutely. You know, I wish I'd have known hitting you would bring up our scores. It would have saved me a lot of study time. <laughs> <laughs> you two sit down. Let me get you a drink. So, but I need to go get my ribs checked out. <laughs> there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you make That's everybody on your team happy. It's my distinct honor <laughs> to introduce Captain James T. Kirk. He's been introduced a couple times. Thank you. How many times do we have to clap for William Shatner? <laughs> Out there. Out there, whether we like it or not. We have enemies. And you'll be the ones dealing with them. I've heard some cadets say the Klingons are unthinking animals. Well, I'm here to tell you it's not true. Animals don't run star empires. The Klingons may appear brutal, but they also have a deeply rooted code of honor. Study it, understand it. You may prevent the loss of thousands of lives. Let's look at a recent skirmish between the Klingons and the USS Senate. Cadet's log supplemental. The lecture was long but riveting, but it was after the lecture when Captain Kirk took questions that the best part occurred. The best yes. part. You have a question? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh it's my god. It's a great gosh. honor, sir. I hate this guy. <laughs> sir, the Klingons yeah. have never What's fully abided by the Organian peace treaty. Why don't we put an end to them once and for all? Nice and simple. Well, if you're here looking for simple solutions, you're in the wrong place, cadet. And I think we'd take it personally if they felt the same way about us. David, ask him how he gets away with violating the regs. 
<laughs> Captain Kirk! Are you kidding? You wanna get me in trouble? Who, me? That actually might have been what we needed to do, though. I think that doing that actually gets your might get your rating up. We're at a 97. She's back up to an 81. Brady still sucks. All right, let's let's load, and we'll we'll go through getting punched again. That's what that's I'm, what I'm afraid of. As long as you hide your feelings, she's bringing us down. Face, face him again. It. Let's let's be a complete doof. Captain Kirk. Yes, Captain. Sir, do you believe in always following the Starfleet regulations to the letter or reinterpreting them as you see the need to do so? Are there some regs you're thinking of violating, Cadet? No, sir. Regulations are for perfect situations. It's up to you to make them fit the imperfect ones. That's why we don't send computers into space. We go with them. We temper them with instinct. And improvisation, that's what we do best. The Academy can teach you how to apply the regulations to regular moments, but life in space is made up of thousands of hours of boredom <laughs> offset by abject moments of terror. When that time hits, it'll be you, not regulations, dealing with it. That's a regulation chair, Cadet. Why don't you use it? Ninety-eight. Oh, look at that. We got one extra percentage point for having that that conversation there. There we go. We're one percentage morning, point cadets. better. Some of you are wondering why I'm briefing you today. Let's just say that I find this simulation memorable. We've lost contact with the entire Aegis system that is home to the SETI Prime Station. We can't scan the system because of the nearby Hyperion Nebula. Okay. Your mission is to find out what has happened? Good luck. Captain's log, stardate 3806.3. Constitution class. The USS Agincourt is en route to investigate the mysterious silence coming from the Aegis system. Both the Athena Science Station and the SETI Prime Prison have gone offline for no apparent reason. And hopefully we'll be able to assist in whatever situation we encounter. Hopefully. Course laid in, Captain. All right. Warp her in. Entering Aegis system. Entering Aegis system. Uh, scan the colony. Scanning prison colony now, Captain. The prison facility has been destroyed. There are no other life signs anywhere on the planet. Destroyed? How? Unknown. Now we know why the colony is silent. We'd better check out the science station. Course laid in, Captain. Go. Go, go. <laughs> I'm picking up a science vessel, Miranda class, coming towards us. It's the USS Oberon. Its shields are down. Sturrock, is the Oberon's communications damaged? Unknown. There are no life signs aboard the Athena Science Station, Captain. Oh? Captain, the Oberon is raising its shields. Raise ours. The Oberon is a Miranda class starship. It appears to be fully operational. Hail them. The Oberon is an answering hail. Red alert! Lord Captain, the Oberon is hailing us. Captain on screen. Hello, Captain. You gave a good fight, but alas, it sometimes isn't good enough. What's the meaning of this attack? Ah, I understand. This is where I reveal my plan. Is that it, Captain? <laughs> You know, I was once like you, a Federation captain full of hopes and dreams. But I watched worlds die because of your precious Prime Directive. My crew died for your precious Starfleet. 
My son died for your sacred ideals. Now I take what I want, when I want, because you have taken all that I held dear. And I tell you, you have something I want. Which is? I want your ship. Excuse me? Well, it's simple, really. You and your crew will be beamed down to the science station, and I will take your ship from the dreadful system. I will have the stars again, and you, you will have your lives. You have a ship. And if we don't agree? You will die here in the cold vacuum of space. And how do I know you'll keep your promise? I promise you nothing. You simply have no choice. Um, I have lots Fine. of choice. Well, Starfleet does not deal with terrorists. We will die before we let you take this ship. We're going to need more time. The ship is heavily damaged, and the transporters are offline. Fine, we'll begin transporting them. Starfleet does not deal with terrorists. We will die before we let you take We're gonna need more time. Your transporter is down. Please, Captain, don't take me for a fool. It's the truth. 60 seconds, Captain, no more. And before I forget, Captain, don't attempt any heroics. I have the warden of the prison safely here with us. If you try anything, I will send you his head. The Oberon is a Miranda-class starship. It appears to be fully operational. Now what? Any suggestions? Well, Sturk and I were talking about using the command codes. Of course! That's what Captain Kirk used against Khan. Get those codes as fast as possible, Mr. Brady. Yes, sir. Mr. Brady? Captain! McNeil is hailing us. On screen. I grow impatient with your delays. We need a little more time. The transporter was badly damaged. Well, I am in a generous mood today. You have 20 seconds. And remember, I still have the warden. I found the codes. We can drop the shields at any time, Captain. Beam them aboard. We've beamed the warden aboard, Captain. Hail him. The Oberon isn't answering hails. Yeah, hail the Oberon and tell her to surrender. Yes, sir. The well, Captain. You played a good game. I congratulate you. Give it up, McNeil. Oh, you really don't understand, do you? I was never in this to win, but rather so that the Federation would lose. With this, dear Captain, do I kick my heels in heaven? How <laughs> just they barely Captain, change it? I'm detecting a power increase in the impulse engines of the Oberon. He is attempting to overload his warp core. Force laid in. Lower shields repaired. It's a silly mission. It's fun though. It's nostalgic in a way. It's, but it is very silly. It's a very silly mission. <laughs> really, a con mission. Like I can only imagine how much fun that guy got to have playing the, trying to play the part of being the, the con <laughs> simulation. Hailing frequency open. Everything is going. Mission accomplished, Starfleet. Well, congratulations, Forrester. You've saved the galaxy from the likes of McNeil. I couldn't have done it better myself. Good job. Very simple, very simple, honestly, very easy mission. It's one of the easiest missions in the game so far. Um, but hey, you know, it's fun. Whatever. We still haven't managed to get fucking Brady's grades That's back long. up. The program checkoff gave me today is fantastic. I thought the Romulan Tholian Gorn Alliance was bad enough, but when he threw in this race called the Anastasian. Dave, the, the attack on my seat. What? <coughs> I had proof of. I have to get it. No, no, come on. You won't last 10 seconds in there. It's toxic smoke in there. Come on, I'll have to find another way. Cadet Forrester. 
Your quick action saves Turek from serious injury. Unfortunately, that won't save him from an inquiry. Are you suggesting Stork blew up the lab, sir? Well, we must consider that, Cadet. There are martyrs in every struggle, Cadet. On behalf of my crew, I protest, sir. Noted. Sturrock is confined to quarters pending investigation. You'll have permission to work with you on team projects, but that's all. No other contact, sir. I thought I was speaking English. Would you rather hear it in Klingon? No, sir. Any questions? Uh, sir, do you have any idea who or what might have been behind all this? We can't comment on the specifics of the investigation until the Academy releases its report. But I can say that an explosive device was detonated in the lab. It was no accident. Who would want to bomb the Academy, sir? That's what we intend to find out, Cadet. Oh, consider yourselves dismissed, Cadets. Aye, Aye sir. sir. Uh -oh. The latest outrage is this explosion at Starfleet Academy. This oh, yeah. mysterious laboratory explosion is the latest in a series of deceptions from Starfleet. Oh. This time we knew the truth. This accident destroyed all the vital evidence linking the Klingons to the savage attacks on our colonies along the neutral zone. But why would Starfleet send vital evidence to Earth in the first place? They say they wanted it examined by the scientists at the Academy. The truth is, that the public can more easily believe a student accidentally blew up the evidence than a civilian scientist at a proper Federation laboratory. But Starfleet made a critical error. The one who was at the lab was a Vulcan student. And we all know that Vulcans are living machines. They are incapable of making mistakes. What? Why would Starfleet pick a Vulcan to deal with the evidence? Hi, crew. Have you been listening to this? I can't believe they're broadcasting this. He has a right to his opinion. You've got to be kidding. Jenna, sometimes you have to sound extreme to make your point. Otherwise, people don't listen. What? They're saying Sturrock blew up the lab. How is Sturrock? He's fair. How are the rest of you holding up? We're doing just fine. Look, I've got some different news. There's a no-win scenario coming up. It's supposedly impossible to beat. Is that supposed to cheer us up? Well, one cadet did beat it. James T. Kirk. So there is a way to beat it. Well, if he could beat it, so can we. Let's win this one. Okay, David? If there is no win, then we're not supposed to win it. That's the lesson. Any ideas how we actually do it? Well, David, you've met Kirk. Maybe you could ask him how he did it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> right? All right, knock it off. <laughs> Look, I better get going. I'll see you later. I'm at 100% now. And Brady's up. And Sturk's down because he blew up the lab. <laughs> That's not great. Don't do that, Sturk. Why, why'd you do that? All right, well. This is post mission 12. <laughs> or post, well, post the talking. Um, all right. Bye now. Everyone in this room is aware of the science lab incident yep. and its unfortunate repercussions. Yep. However, I expect you to leave those troubles behind you. Oh. You'll have plenty to worry about here. Oh. Captain Kirk will now conduct the remainder of the briefing. Okay. Captain. Thank you, Commander. The Klingon High Council has officially assured the Federation that Governor Kumas's actions were unauthorized. I'm told we actually believe them. The Klingons want Kumas to present an apology, and they want him to present it to the Federation ship that was involved since the beginning. You, of course. You're to go to Klingon Station K-28 on a diplomatic mission. As a diplomat and invited guest, you may not activate any of your defensive systems unless fired upon. Any violation of the diplomatic code will be considered a grave insult to the Klingon Empire. 
course, Kumas is not happy with the situation either, and will probably go out of his way to try and provoke an incident. So be careful, cadets. Captain's log, stardate 3681.7. We are proceeding to a Klingon starbase to accept an official apology from the Klingon Empire. Yet, I cannot help but wonder if I should be a little cautious around Klingons bearing apologies, especially one that seems more motivated by politics than by contrition. Course laid in, Captain. All right. Here we go! Entering the Desna system. Klingon advanced heavy cruiser approaching. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> there is nothing unusual to report, Captain. We are being scanned. Okay. They are scanning us again. Their automatic scanning sequence has now scanned us 87 times. That's We're a lot. We're being hailed by Commander Kamath. Okay. Boy, what boy. trick is this, Forrester? Our sensors indicate that your vessel has a surplus of dilithium. Dilithium is used to power weapon systems. Are you trying to dishonor our offer of peace? Actually, dilithium is used to power all ship systems. Yeah, are you stupid? <laughs> Give me a break, Kamath. Dilithium is used in all of our systems, and you know it. Mr. Brady, jettison the surplus dilithium. A valid point. I'll bring your demand to the table when I meet with Governor Kamas. I give you my word that I will not use the surplus for an unprovoked attack against you. I mean, give me a break, Kamath. Dilithium is used in all of our systems, and you know it. How dare you take that tone with me? If you were not protected by the High Council, I would blow you to atoms! We are receiving a message from Governor Kumas. People of the Klingon Empire, unlike the fools on the High Council, I have done all that I have promised. In addition to that, I have delivered a prize to my people. The Federation Starship Agincourt for judgment. Now they can finally answer for their crimes. But the High Council ordered! My family blood runs back to the time of Kalis. You have no right to order this humiliation. Governor Kumos, this is treason. Take him. Kamath, you owe blood oath to Clan Tarkat. I order you to destroy the Agincourt! The Romulan and the D7 are powering up their defenses, but are moving away from the area. The advanced heavy cruiser has charged all of its weapons and is moving in for an attack. Lower shields, lower shields are critical, sir. Oh boy. need time to figure out what's going on. Course laid in, Captain. I'm sure they will. Well, that didn't go well. Healing frequency open. <laughs> Mission accomplished, Star. You have successfully completed the Klingon invasion scenario. A new governor has been installed in the Hanzar province, and everything is back to normal. In fact, rumor has it that Kumas is still being chased by the families of those who are on the Klingon advanced cruiser. That I had to fucking destroy because of him. Well, we're all still doing pretty well here, I'd say. I think we're actually post mission 12 now. So um let's see. It's almost 7:15. Let me I guess we could probably go through the cutscenes. The cutscenes are fun, so part of part of what's best about this game, really. So Uh 
Uh, uh, yeah. This is only part of the shadow politics attempted by alien members of the Federation to keep the natural leaders of the Federation from finding out the truth. Starfleet Academy has stonewalled our request for information. We know the Falcon Cadet was working on evidence from the Bicea incident. Why is it being kept secret? These unanswered questions raise doubts about any story coming from the Federation Council. In further news from the Starfleet Academy explosion, there were no injuries, however damages are extensive. Sources inside the Academy report that the unidentified student involved in the blast could be dismissed from the Academy as soon as next week. In other news, rumors of sabotage among the plain air... Jeff, David. Starfleet's hanging Sturrock out to dry. Even Starfleet's not immune to political pressures. What if they sacrifice Sturrock to make their problems go away? We won't know until it's too late to save him. We have to help him. We're a team. Yes. Let's break into the lab and find out what really happened. David, Kirk said you can violate the rules if your cause is just. Uh, <laughs> He said you have to be willing to pay the price. Are you willing to get kicked out? To save Sturrock from being sacrificed? Yes. Absolutely. In a heartbeat. Look, we don't know if he really is being sacrificed. So we can only use legal means to find out. How? Look, we all have legal access to different parts of the Academy computer, right? Well, if we look carefully, we might find something that's been overlooked. David, you could use your science lab access to legally find out about Sturrock's secret project. Good idea. Thank you. Are you sure? Yes! yes. David. All right, let's do it. Now. Plan this out. First. Mm -hmm. As we begin to plan. Now I'm mission 13 though. I'm getting cold. Did you know it's cold today? Fuck me, I guess. Okay. There has been an increase in piracy in the Stygius sector has along there? the Klingon neutral zone. Oh. Your mission is to patrol the Cerebus, Charybdis, and Damocles systems. Above all, the Organian peace treaty must be maintained. So step carefully, cadet. Captain's log, start at 3726.4. We're on patrol duty again, this time along the Klingon neutral zone. I'd like to think this will be a simple mission, but after our previous encounters with the Klingons, I imagine it will be anything but easy. Course laid in, Captain. Well, all right. Now entering the Cerebus system, Captain. Maintain the peace tree. Captain, I'm reading disruptor fire at 73 Mark 4. Course laid in, Captain. Captain, the freighter is hailing us. The freighter says it's too busy making repairs to respond right now. No reply to our hail, Captain. No reply to our hail, Captain. No reply to our hail, Captain. Forward shields are in the pit. Tractor beams are in the pit. shields down to 50%. Phasers are in the pit. Forward shields are critical, sir. Online. No reply to our hail, Captain. Really? 
There is nothing unusual to report, Captain. You guys just don't care, do you? You guys should try a little bit more uh, di diplomacy with your... Uh... Captain, the freighter is hailing us. The freighter's captain thanks us for our help and requests permission to head to Starbase 3215 for repairs. Permission granted. Course laid in. Looks like I'm going to have to quit here really soon, though, so. Now entering the Charybdis system. Captain, something is warping into the system. Okay. What? Captain, the freighter is hailing us. Channel is open, Captain. This is Captain Eris of the Vulcan Freighter Sunrider. To whom am I speaking? This is Captain David Forrester of the USS Agincourt. We're patrolling for pirates in this sector. That is very expedient, Captain. Unfortunately, there is another issue at hand. And there that is? is? I have just returned from the Damocles system, where two Klingon ships have crossed the border and are harassing a freighter. I felt the prudent course was to find assistance rather than place my crew in jeopardy a wise choice you could have started with that logical choice captain i must continue on sunrider out Course Thanks. laid in captain you could have started with that starboard shields repaired it would have been a good place to start the conversation entering you know? the damocles system captain i have several ships on the scanner sir. It is too Hail the freighter. Hailing channel open, Captain. I am Secretary Jarhawk of the third rank diplomatic corps of the Klingon Empire. I request asylum from the Federation for myself and my family. But why are these other Klingons after you? It is a clan matter, Captain. My cousin killed one of their leaders, and in Klingon society, blood debt is answered with blood. They plan to wipe out my family. I couldn't let that happen, Captain. I love my family too much. The Klingon ambassador himself has approved my plan. Your help in this matter would be appreciated. Jarhawk out. Can we get confirmation on his claim about the ambassador's support? No, sir. It will take us three standard days to get a reply. Captain, the freighter is hailing us. We are being hailed. Hailing the Klingons, sir. On screen. I am Dukret of the Clan Bakat. Are you? Stay out of this Federation, dogs, or be destroyed. You are firing on a freighter in violation of the Arganian Peace Treaty. You will explain yourself now or face the consequences. You listen to the lies of a coward, a traitor who steals the lives of others. Am I? Captain, Secretary Jarhawk is hailing us. Open a hailing channel. Ducret lies, Captain. I had to protect my clan from the barbarity of the Empire. You have my wife, my child! Oh is boy. this true? Of course not, Captain. This Vech would be a pirate in your Federation. A petty lord with a slavish clan to rule over. Listen to them, Captain. Their actions alone prove my point. Enough talk. Leave us to our task, Federation. Or fire upon us and die. <laughs> The freighter is hailing them. Can you get him on screen? Aye, Captain. Kumas! Didn't the Klingons get him last time around? Remember the Klingon heavy cruiser? He has friends in high places. It is logical to assume one of them could have formulated a way for Kumas to escape. You've come. Kapla, my lord. Welcome to our sector. Transport Omega-7. Then destroy these fools! Fire on me again, Ducret, and I kill your son. There are two armed freighters, two birds of prey, and one these Lower shields are being hit. Lower shields. Lower shields are being hit. All weapons fire at will. Armed 
freighter has dropped its shields, Captain. Captain, Amos and his prisoners are being transported over to the pirate freighter. More reports have it since the Colossus freighter are rising. They've set the self-destruct. Give me a fix on them, Sturrock. Where did they go? Attempting an analysis now, Captain. Transferring coordinates to navigation station. Course laid in, Captain. All right, let's go. Hopefully the other Klingons will follow us. Forward shields have been hit. Them aboard. We got them. Captain, the prisoners have been beamed aboard. Upper shields are critical, sir. Forward shields are critical, sir. All integrity down. It just rammed me. Lower shields are critical, sir. Shields online. All right, we're almost there. That shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. That shield system is damaged, Captain. Repair crews are working on it. I know. We could return to Starbase right now, I guess, but. Lower shields online. The Klingons are not responding, Captain. Well, they're gonna need to pretty soon. I have their fucking family. No, 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 good sir. No, no, no. You don't run from a constitution class. Almost dead. Oh, my door's locked. Give me just a second here. All right. Let's keep blowing things up, and then we'll have to, we'll call it here. <laughs> Please, please slow down. Okay. That shield system is damaged. Yes, it is. Repair crews are working on it. <laughs> All right. Warp back. That should be the end of this mission. Sir, there is no power to the warp drive. Or there can be no power to the warp drive. That that can happen too. Um. Well, if we just go to green alert, that should give us everything we need. Then we'll just warp back. There. Cool story. So yeah, um, next time I will really continue doing this. I've been doing nothing else all day. Hailing frequency open. Mission, mission accomplished, Starfleet. Congratulations. You have dealt with overwhelming odds in a manner consistent with the best traditions of Starfleet. And we're... Oh. You did manage to find the pirate's main base of operations. I did. And destroy it. I did. Was that bad? Oh, okay. That's just, 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 just letting me know that I did that. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Thanks for the information about what I did. All right. Out. I'm out of here as soon as I hit quit four times. Okay. <laughs>